Hi, welcome back to a new episode of the greatest book club in the world. Hey, book club, yeah! And today, guys, today, 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 guys, we're on extremely, extremely, extremely special episode because today, guys, we're on episode number three hundred and nine, guys. Three hundred and nine episode, guys, which is huge amount of episodes. So <laughs> I really love the number. I really love the number. To see the numbers going up each day, each day is uh, just keeping going up and. Just a remind me, uh, just a reminder for myself. The time is going, time is fly. Only 309 episodes, guys. 309 episodes. That's a lot. That's a lot of episodes. Uh, time is just fly. I can, if I didn't start the episode, it's make me realize it. I'm not missing uh, how much uh, things I'm missing uh, because I'm not a uh, working on them. Because one year ago, I started a podcast and I didn't, I wasn't uh, F2 off. I didn't have to podcast. And the rest is this story. In my episode, guys. So just start working on, on, on your stuff, guys. And I have a TikTok account that I am upload a daily motivation quote. I came up with a really nice quote for myself, by myself. You don't have to get the most views on TikTok, but there is no excuses for me to not be the one, the TikToker with the most video videos on YouTube, on a TikTok. In Hebrew, it sounds better. Let me think how I said it in Hebrew. Uh, it's going like this. של להיות הטיקטוקר עם הכי הרבה עוקבים, אבל אין שום סיבה שאתה לא תהיה הטיקטוקר עם הכי הרבה סרטונים. You don't have to be the tiktoker with the most followers, but there is no any, but there is any, no reason for you to be the tiktoker with the most videos. What by AK? I can say I need to do it. Yeah, I can update it on uh, my uh, also my uh, <laughs> motivation quote on Yan King Show. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyways, guys, if you're on the channel, welcome to I mean, if you're already familiar with the channel, welcome back. My name is Ekei, and I'm your host, and I'm your host. host. And this podcast, guys, we're working together on this on, on our English speaking level, reading level, and on the camera, and talking back for the camera. I'm doing this podcast because I truly, 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 truly believe that English is the number one tool that each one of us must acquire in order to be successful in life. And the second tool that it's going to help us a lot is to know how to get back from the camera. And by and I hope that by working on my English every day, I come better on my English. This is my own one of the reasons that I've done it. But the main reason that I'm doing this podcast is that I'm hoping that by sharing with you guys the ladies, the ladies and gentlemen and gentlemen that are watching this podcast right now. That by sharing with you guys my journey, my success, my failure, my ups and down, my obstacles, I overcome them by, by for my uh, my obstacles and up, up up and down of podcasting a uh, five episode per week, five extremely exciting episode per week. And that I've inspired other people, yeah, to listen. Maybe you, the lady and gentleman, the lady and the gentleman, the company podcast, podcast you, I've inspired you to do the same and to also. Okay, and English and share and share message of and share your message your message with the people of the world because I truly believe that you have a unique mess, uh, message to share with the world and have a unique story to tell and it's really important in my opinion that you will share your message with the world so just do it guys and and you know it's in and you know and, and even though if somebody if no one is going to watch your content it might be my event like with the podcast I have two, two subscribers and I think that, you know what it, Let's check it, show screen. <laughs> Let's make like this. So already ready to upload that. So then you can see this is, I don't have any episode that I record. This is today. Because I used all my pre code episodes. And on Sunday, it's the last day that I need to uh, give to send my assignments that I got from the university. And 
I'm not in, I'm, if I'm going to do it, I'm not. As I said, I'm going to use the times, make time to record a much more episode. And I'm going to be, to give me, to get back all the pre-records, all the episodes that I didn't record. But you can see, let's go to the control panel. You got two subscribers and let's see how many analytics. Uh, general uh, views, we got 90, 39 uh, views, nine more than the last uh, month in the last uh, Z. This is, uh, you got 39 uh, views in your channel in the last 28 uh, days, last days. Let's see since ever. We've got, dang it, 308 episodes. We have an ad, 308 uh, total views so far. Yeah. So yesterday we, uh, we launched. We release, we upload episode 308 and we got 308 views, so let's save it. Anyway, my point is the title of my video said it didn't get uh, any, view, any views, but I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it just for the, the, communica the, the communication of myself. Now, one year from now, ten years from now, I'm going to look at that and say, hey, okay, I do an again in the uh, previous uh, 10 years. I'm doing them. I, you crush it with, crush it, crush it with uh, your, uh, with our uh, AK Motivation uh, Empire, and you make a good business with uh, Young King. And yeah, it, it try, I will try to make you happy. But we try to make you proud, 14 years old uh, AK. That I, I hope that I will have a good success to put the effort that uh, I'm hoping that I would, I would, I would uh, put and that we are a worldwide uh, dominate, <laughs> that we are on the on our path to be the greatest uh, content motivation pattern creator of all times. So, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because this is what a little bit uh, more about me than usual. But anyway, guys, you see. Today, we got this great uh, lady. I think she reminds me of Taylor Swift. She came to the podcast. She said, okay, I want to go to the podcast. And I said, a lovely lady like you, of course, you're, going, you're welcome to the podcast. And if you want to check her out, you're not going to find her. In three, two, one, come. Damn. No, not on my channel. On Good Fun. Yeah, that's right. You can find her on Good Fun. And this great background up to Good Fun in Banana Zones and Vitochka. Vitochka. On 22 on May 2020. And of course, guys, we like the picture because it's a really good picture. And it's already downloaded 1,161 times. So good for them. And guys, if you want to, if you want to download the picture, you just need to choose the resolution from here. Press download. Right click on the picture. Go to Shmirat Nad B'Shem Elibos. The picture less negation type down in the comment below. What it in your own and all of us we need to guess. And all of us, and all, and all of us, we need to guess for where you are all around the board. Press on it. Choose the one to save it on the computer. Play save and come in just like that. You will get this great background. You will get this great background on the computer. So thank you very much for the artist who made this, for the artist who made this, who made this great background. And thank you very much for the touch car for sharing, for sharing it with us. And today, guys, we continue our journey with Crush It, Crush It, by uh, Gary Vee, Gary Vaynerchuk. A really nice book. I enjoy to read it. It's a really easy going in English. And it's a lot of uh, nice stories from Gary. And today, we're going to finish chapter two. So let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And just before we start the book, guys, if you want to check out this Gary account, or if you want to check out the book, or Gary Vaynerchuk, a social media account, and you know that I'm highly recommended. Check him out also. It's Patrick David, because he is sharing a lot of wisdom on his uh, channel. So just make sure to check him out. You got and you got all the links in the description below. So make sure to check them out and like them. The picture, the book, German Jack, and if you want Patrick David, like them. And guys, if anyone of you, and if any, if, if any one of you, if any suggestion for me, I can pull myself for the podcast. Or if any one of you want to come to the podcast, be to the podcast, share with the world, discuss the world, just. Maybe I can difference because we're here, or just have a good time with me in English because you know I'm really nice guy in English. Please make sure in the comment below so we can arrange it. And of course, guys, if anyone of you hear something nice from the podcast, 
ladies and gentlemen, if you want something nice for the podcast, something nice for the podcast, maybe something that I said or you learned from the book, or, or maybe you have your own life lessons that you want to share with us, you know, that you learned from some, someone else, please feel free to share it, more, feel, feel more than welcome, more than welcome to share it, to share it with us in the comment below, so you can enrich your life and get inspired thanks to you. So thank you very much. And one is fingers before we start the book. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the process, and if you want the journey and the channel and you learn something, and if you learn, learn something new, something something new for the channel, please consider to share your support to the channel by liking the video, sharing with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and push the notification bell so you will be notified on Instagram. It's extremely exciting episode on coming to YouTube. And you know it's going to be five extremely exciting episodes per week. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and push the notification bell. It's really one to three, four clicks from your own, from your own uh, side, and it's really going to have, made, it's going to have made a big impact on me. So guys, thank you very much. And shout out to my two subscribe, my two, my two, to my two subscribers, and shout out to the 308 views that we got. Yeah, I'm crushing it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. And uh, let's make a, a count. Account on the official account. So I'm going to make it in the end of the video. Uh, official account of my TikTok. So let's go, let's go, let's go. So, guys, without an introduction, let's just dive right into the book. So, crush it by crush it by Gary Vaynerchuk. Read with the meat is the legend of Vaynerchuk. Is the man himself, Mr. John, please. Mr. John, please. Mr. John, please. Boy, aka, yeah, 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 Again, when I caught base, when I caught baseball fever, my mom had taken me to a flea market where I bought some uh, packs of baseball uh, counts as well as a copy of the Beckett baseball count, uh, Price Guy. It revealed that uh, there was an actual uh, value to the counts I had bought. I can still remember the feelings uh, as I realized that my world uh, was changed. It was the uh, same feeling I have got uh, later when I saw the market uh, potential for wine, when I saw the internet for the first time, and when I watched the first video blog. Game over. Goodbye, lemonade stands. Hello, baseball counts. Hello, the AK book club. We moved to an Tondone uh, country, New, New Jersey, and an Tondone county. County, County, New Jersey, when I was in eighth grade. Baseball cards were on, a, were on like a Donkey Kong at my new school. And within weeks, I was uh, wrecking in the dog. One day, the local mall uh, personal, one day, the local uh, mall personal announced they were hosting a baseball card, baseball card show. And no way was I going to miss it. I was already a hundred dollar player, hundred dollar player, thanks to selling cars to, to my eighth grade uh, classmates. So I mustered up uh, my courage and uh, asked my dad uh, for the biggest number I could think of, a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars. Unbelievably, unbelievably, thought unbelievably, unbelievably, point, point, though, in, Insight that is uh, just uh, who my dad was. That, though in insight, in the sight, that is uh, just who my dad was. My, my, who my dad is. Who my dad is. He gave it to me. The money was uh, burning uh, all uh, in my pocket. So I immediately went to Costco and uh, spent it on uh, some boxes of counts. I knew they weren't a good deal, but I was uh, impatient. The last time I would ever be there. 
sure enough, when I opened them and looked up uh, the value in the price, price guide I found, in the price guide, sure enough, when I opened, the, when I opened them and looked up the value in the price, day, I mean, the price guide, I found out they were worth only about $200, $200. Oh man, I was in trouble. My mom, my mom, my mom uh, drove my uh, two partners, Jason Wicker and John uh, Chunkek, Ch Chunkek, and me to the mall so we could uh, buy a table at the show. We had agreed ahead of time that we wouldn't buy a table if it cost more than uh, 20 bucks. We asked, we asked for the promoter, we asked, we asked for the promoter, and this uh, 400 uh, pound Italian dude uh, came out. Came out, came out. Hey, mister, I said, how much for, my, for the show? 150 bucks. 150 bucks, damn. I ended uh, over the money, shook uh, the guy's hand, shook the guy's hand, and walked away, ignoring my friends uh, getting a mouse, mouse. My brain was telling me this was a terrible idea, but my gut said, go, go for it, go for it. And I've always listened to my gut. Then, uh, you know, it's, it was uh, an instinct, and I need to remember to myself is that again, it was a uh, high school on, I don't know, like 12 or 13, I think, maybe 14. By the time I got, and we just have discovered the name, by the time I got home and told my dad and mom what I had done, I was almost in tears. But true to form, to form, they didn't uh, fall me, even though I am sure they wanted, 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 wanted to. Instead, my dad said he hoped that uh, losing uh, the money would be worth the experience. He is a wise man, my dad. Even I went to my room uh, determined uh, to show him uh, that I wasn't in this just for the experience. The fire was burning, and there was no way I was going to lose. <coughs> The next day we set up our table and the first thing I did was market the research, was market research. I walked around the show checking out uh, what everyone else was selling. I was adjusted. I, I, I then adjusted. Passing every card uh, we had as it was available for less than anyone else was selling it. We cashed it and made a uh, straight cash. From then on, I did Every show I could. My mom and uh, my mom and Philo Card and Philo Card dealer and the uh, best friend uh, Brandon uh, Brankens uh, moms and uh, my mom, my mom and Philo Card dealer and best friend uh, Brandon Brankens, Wonk, Wonnex mom, would drive us in the show or uh, rain in the would would uh, drive us in the snow or rain uh, to bridge, bridge, uh, bridge water, uh, is so gone, Hillsborough, Hillsborough, Edison, Rayton, Rayton, anywhere there was a show. And every time I, I had to uh, dominate, and every time I would dominate. I just uh, learned uh, one of my first lessons in business. Scarcity, uh, scarcity, scarcity, breeds desire, breeds desire. What is scarcity? Let's check in Google. Scarcity. It's like limited resources, resources and unlimited desire. This is the definition by Wikipedia. Scarcity breeds desire. My strategy was simple. I would buy sets that uh, weren't mentioned in a uh, Buckfoots, in a uh, Buckfoots, and promote them to create a market. You are thinking, geez, Gary, what a scam artist you are. Not at all. I was an optimist. A pessimist would have seen the cars, uh, would see, a pessimist would have seen the cars were unlisted and, and, and assumed they were worthless. I, on the other hand, quite, quite 
innocently decided that if those cards weren't in the guide, they had to be very bold. I paid my debt back is a thousand dollars in about three or four months. And I continued to earn that kind of money every weekend I could. Then I turned 15, damn. Then I turned 15 and got dragged out of the mall and into the liquor store. Title. Learning the trade. To go from, sell, uh, to go from self-made uh, baseball card king of Andre Alderton County, a county rolling, rolling in the dog, to grant a uh, begging guys for uh, two bucks an hour was a hard fall. It wasn't until I turned uh, 16 that I was even allowed to uh, allowed up on the floor and uh, became a cashier. Not too exciting but it beat hours of uh, shoveling guys and uh, dusting uh, shelves. Shelves. I couldn't drink anything uh, before. My parents were strict about that. But I was good at regurgitating data. So when business uh, was slow, I would uh, flip for trade magazines to pass the time and then use what I have learned to help customers. One of those uh, magazines uh, was Wine uh, Spectator. Spect uh, Spectator. Now, the store was called uh, Shoppers uh, Discount uh, Liquor Liquors for a uh, reason. Most of our business uh, came from selling uh, the art stuff. Beer, too, was a big seller. The beer cooler uh, took up about 33% of the entire store. But I learned uh, two things for my time uh, behind the cash uh, register. First, thanks to Wine Spectator, Spectator, I learned that there was a whole uh, culture, I learned that, that there was a whole uh, cultural cash uh, to drinking wine, and that people uh, collected it the same way I collected the uh, baseball, count, baseball counts. Star Wars toys, Star Wars toys, and comic books. That was interesting to me. That was interesting, interesting to me. I also started uh, noticing a pattern. Pattern. People would people would uh, come in uh, to buy their absolute or their uh, Johnny Walker, and they knew that I that I for any stuff uh, could talk until uh, we were blue in the face about the other brands. They were still uh, walking out with uh, the absolute or their uh, Johnny Walker. Those brands uh, were just too established. The wine buyer, though, would often walk in uh, looking a little lost and spend 10 minutes uh, tent tentatively, tentatively feeling at uh, labels as though walking a battle would jump out and spare and spare uh, as though walking a battle would jump out and uh, spare them and spare them from uh, making a decision, from making a, a decision. I knew from my, I knew from my experience, I knew from my, I knew from my experience with a uh, baseball card, with baseball, with the baseball card business, that people want to be told what is good and very, and very good. Same, nice point. I knew from my experience with uh, the baseball card uh, business, the people want to be told what is good and valuable, like what is good and valuable, like a book club. The most valuable, the most good things that you can ever invest in. And that, uh, and that they enjoyed, and that they enjoy feeling like as they've uh, been turned on to something not everyone uh, can appreciate. It's like a quote. Storytelling is by far the most underrated uh, skill in business. The wine buyer, unlike the liquor customers, were open to any suggestion I had, and I realized that they represented the opportunity, and I realized that they represented the opportunity. Spotting that a uh, social trend uh, was enough to turn what started out as a casual interest in wine into, a, into an obsession. I had started 
I had started out at uh, shoppers uh, discount uh, liquors, liquors, hitting every second of my time zone. But now I was determined to tour the place into the number one wine shop in America. Damn! Item, changing, changing the wine world. No one had any illusion, no one had any illusions that I was a great uh, show long as, uh, as I started my senior year of high school. So it made uh, sense to me that uh, my plan uh, should be to eke, eke out the grades to graduate and start uh, working full time at the liquor store. Sometime in February, yes, February, some mom, you know it's true. My mother asked me what college, my mother asked me what college I was uh, planning to attend. College, a slug would have it, a slug would have it. A postcard uh, for Mount Idea, a slug would have it. A postcard from uh, Mount Idea College in uh, Newtown, Massachusetts, 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 showed up in the mail a few days later. I filled it out, and uh, Mount Ida became my home in the fall. By then, though, my life was uh, the storm, and I would come home almost every weekend uh, to work there. In September 1995, I was hanging out in a friend's dorm, dorm, dorm room when he, when he turned on his computer and uh, introduced me and it reduced me to this thing uh, called the internet. I let my friends uh, bumble around the uh, chat rooms uh, trying to meet girls for a little while. Then kicked them off, and then kicked, kicked them off and uh, spent the next nine hours hunting down a baseball card, baseball card, uh, trading uh, phones, and figuring out how I was going to use this uh, thing uh, to grow the store. There was no doubt in my mind this was uh, going to be the future of business. It will take me another year to get the card. It will uh, take me another. It will take me another year to get uh, the card uh, to approach my dad about selling wine online. About selling wine online. Then what can I say? My dad was a scary guy. What can I say? My dad was a scary guy. At first he resisted, but he believed in me. But he believed in me. And as soon as he relented, I was off to the races. To the, I was off to the races. WineLibrary.com launched in, in June 1997. The song staff wouldn't uh, take on the name Wine Library until Wine Library until uh, 1999. The store brought, uh, brought in uh, about two or three million per year. In 1994, the store brought in about two or three million per year in 1994. I came on board full time after my graduating, graduation, graduating in 1998, and grew the business from from about four million to ten million in a, in a year. Damn. From from about four million to ten million in a year with 0% of that in no-line uh, sales. By 2001, we were doing about 20 million. Damn, not bad. Not bad at all. Life was good and business uh, was booming. Most guys my age uh, would have uh, thought they had made it. Then, on my 30th birthday, November uh, 14, uh, 2005, yes. You know, 15, it would be uh, 14. It's almost 50, it's almost 50, guy. Yeah. I was driving along as uh, I was driving along as a New Jersey turn, uh, turnpike on my way to work, thinking about my day. And I realized that, uh, that, as, that as perfect as life seemed, I wasn't entirely happy. I knew deep in my soul that there was no way I was uh, ever going to buy the jets if I stayed on the later path. It was time to go big. It was time to go big. We had a computer a department at wine, at wine Library by now. And I had uh, seen Eric uh, Kastner, Kastner 
Kastner and uh, John Cassimatis, uh, Cassimatis, spending their lunch breaks, uh, spitting uh, food, spitting food all over uh, themselves uh, from laughing at those uh, things uh, called uh, video blogs. The two big ones uh, at the time were uh, rocket, rocket Boom and the show with uh, the Zephon. They had been trying to figure out how to leverage this new medium to show people that there was uh, more to drink about, to show people that there was more to drink out, uh, out there than uh, yellow, 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 yellow tail, than yellow tail. I had been trying to figure out how to leverage this new medium to show people that there was uh, more to drink out there than yellow tail. I would also notice I had also noticed that sites, that sites like MySpace and uh, Flickr and YouTube were becoming popular. Sites that had nothing to do with, uh, with commerce and everything to do with uh, being social and uh, sharing stories and meeting uh, people and that, and that was something I was good at. It was them. It was them. On the New Jersey Turnpike, that I had my aha moment. I wasn't going to use uh, video blogs to sell wine. I was going to use video blogs to build a whole new world for wine. I was going to use uh, video blogs to build a new, a uh, whole new world for wine and for, us, and, and for myself. I waited, uh, I, I waited to get the store uh, for the holiday. I waited to get the store for the holiday season, and then launched, launched Wine Library TV in February 2006, three months later. And guys, guess what? This is the end of the episode. So guys, thank you very much for joining me. For joining me. I really appreciate the fact is that you choose to learn from me, and that you, is, that you choose to learn to learn from the podcast that you choose to invest your time with me. So thank you very much, guys. And I learned a lot from a uh, from uh, about college and about a uh, business from a uh, college and business from this episode. And I really hope that you also learn something new from this from this uh, episode. And I can't wait to see you all uh, tomorrow, guys, for the on the next episode with the uh, extremely exciting episode of the greatest book club in the world, the AK Book Club. Until then, guys, have a great time. Take care of yourself. It's almost a bit much party time. And bye bye. Let's go. Because today is Wednesday, 9 on uh, March 2022, 2022, and time now is 17, 13 in the, the in PM. It was a really nice episode. Right now, I'm uh, really in stress about finishing the work assignment that I need to do for a uh, university. But after I finish this, my finish exam, it's going to be a new, a new, a one new world of content creator. Content creation. We are going to take it as a like book club, like a motivation, yanking show to the no new, no, uh, to a whole new world, like I said. So I can't wait to start it, guys. Yom Ovi, a chill, a special one, sometimes I shall be Hamish, my master to cover the wine. As Yaram, have sent out of the air, the decabet of Shishim, the same time. We talk with the marshal the same. Yeah, that's the most. נתחיל כבר עם מייקי מדיה, יאללה, בשבע יש פגישה עם חדוש, עד אז ניתן בראש ונצליח.